protests started late last week in the country of Haiti. It was sparked by the government's plan to raise the set fuel price. News 10's Lacey Clifton joins us now with a connection to the unrest from right here in the Wabash Valley. Lacey. Susie, the government ended up canceling the fuel increase, but not after several people died and airports canceled flights. Now, I spoke with Jake Blunier. He's from Robinson, Illinois, doing mission work in Haiti. He says the mood in the country is still tense and shares some of what he's seen. In the first day or so, I was able to get out and try to see the conditions. This is what missionary Jake Blunier from Robinson, Illinois, encountered in civilly unrest Haiti. All over the place, there are people dragging tires out into the middle of the road and uh, just setting them on fire. People are rolling large boulders out into the street so that uh, vehicles can't pass. Blunier is a driver for a mission stationed in Haiti, so his ability to help others is being impacted. Even more difficult for him is his appearance. He says he sticks out as a foreigner, which is dangerous. It puts a giant target on my back. They see me coming from a mile away, and so I have not been able to get out unless it was the dead of night. Blunier says he's hopeful things will quiet down in the coming days, but he says there is something you can do now to help. Obviously, the situation is unstable, and uh, I would not wish anyone to uh, make a trip down at this moment or, or do anything, make a rash decision like that. But um, pray for us and uh, keep us in, our, in your thoughts and prayers. Tonight on News 10, Blunier will share one intense instance where the unrest in Haiti has impacted his mission work. Back to you.